So, for our clubs who have redefined the game of football, look, be that on the pitch or, of course, in the boardroom, the climb towards the pinnacle has been consistent throughout. From planning and implementation to the accomplishment of goals, none of this would have been possible without the direction from the club president, who provides the blueprint as to how clubs strike that perfect balance in the quest to become a global football force. Over the last year, there have been clubs who have taken their place in the upper echelons of the football world and clubs who have consolidated their positions as global leaders all through the vision and efforts of the president. Into your finalists then for the best president at this, the Nikhil Dubai Globe Soccer Awards. And the finalists are... Manchester City's Khaldun al -Mabarak. Juan Laporta of FC Barcelona. And Sevilla's Jose Castro. The winner of the Dubai Globe Soccer Awards Best President is... Khaldun Al Mubarak of Manchester City. City's five trophies is a testament to their growth under the leadership of Khaldun Al Mubarak. Manchester City have embarked on a journey that has seen them conquer all before them, with their president providing the blueprint. City's seismic influence on the beautiful game shows no sign of abating. Yeah, on the pitch, they continue to reach new heights off it. They've just been as successful. Club posting a Premier League record revenue for the 22 to 23 financial year. With the City Football Group expanding its network to all corners of the globe, a lasting legacy has been created. A 15-year journey, and now City are at the summit of world football. Khaldun, maybe we can get a few words with you. So many congratulations. Here we go, put it down. Uh, we're talking about an era of dominance, but sport has eras and peaks and troughs. So the question is, how long can Manchester City keep this going? Well, um, allow me first to thank uh, His Highness Sheikh Mansour uh, bin Mohammed bin Rashid and uh, Mutar Tahir and of course all the organizers for uh, obviously this privilege to, to win this award. And, you know, I accept the award, but to be honest, my, my job is not that hard. <laughs> when you have... We just gave you the big sell. <laughs> when you have the best players uh, in the world, when you have the best coaching staff in the world, when you have the best organization in the world, when you have the best football director in Chiki Begiristan in the world, when you have the best CEO, Ferran Soriano, in the world, and of course, having, and this is the best of all, the best owner in His Highness Sheikh Mansour with his Al bin Zayed in his unwavering support and his positivity always. And of course, all of this has to compensate for, an ad, for a manager that's, I don't know, a bit average. <laughs> and of course, the best manager in the world in Pep Guardiola. And let's not forget what makes Manchester City really special we have the best fans in the world. So, so with all of this, my job is pretty easy. <laughs> How long can you keep him, Pep? Listen, I didn't answer you the first question, so let me just go back to that. How do you keep winning? You keep winning with a commitment for excellence. When you wake up every day, with that hunger, with that urge, and when it's consistent in the DNA and the culture of the club. One of the things I would say I'm most proud of is over this 15-year journey, what you have today in Manchester City is a DNA, a culture, that is in every person that's involved in the club. And because of that, when you win seven Premier Leagues in the last 11 years, when you win three Premier Leagues in a row. The first team since 1991, 1999 to win a treble. The only other team to win a treble in, in England. And this year, obviously, we're going to go for hopefully the fourth Premier League in a row and maybe another treble. 
But that hunger, that urge to get better, to win, to constantly want to improve, uh, never to be comfortable, never to be uh, content. Uh, this is, I think, what may is, makes this team and this organization special. This is what makes the 15 years, I think, a, a privilege. But this is why, I think, you see a consistency, and this is why, when you look at the future, uh, I think from our perspective, uh, we're always looking at how to get better, how to win more, uh, and how to constantly improve, and that's going to be how we build this legacy. Thank you. And, and, and as for the question? Go on. <laughs> Go on. Quick, quickly. Since we forgot the question, we can pass ah, on. Ah, I love it. <laughs> Great to speak to you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs> Yeah, congratulations indeed to Carl Doon. Great to see you as always. And well done uh, yet again to all the team behind Manchester City.